today's video, I'll be revealing a new workflow that I've been using to write high quality SEO optimized articles that are more likely to rank on Google. And it first starts by using New End Writer. New End Writer is a content optimization tool. Essentially, it'll give you recommendations that you need to follow to rank content on the first page of Google. And they currently have a lifetime deal. So you pay one time, and you get access to it forever. I definitely recommend that you guys try um, this out for yourselves. You can get a free trial. And then if you like it, you can buy the lifetime deal. I will leave a leave link in the description for this lifetime deal before it is gone. But once you have a plan for New End Writer, you want to go ahead and enter the keyword in which you would like to rank for. For example, this is our keyword, how to become rich with AI. So once we know the keyword in which we're using, we're then going to go ahead and we're going to copy over all of this information that's related to the, the terms, the headers, the H1s, the article, uh, keywords, and entities. So we copied over all of that content and we paste it into the new O1 model from ChatGPT. So this is the latest model. It's still in beta mode, so there's not as many features. Like we can't necessarily customize AI, but I wanted to test it out to see how good it really is. It's a little bit longer in terms of the generation, but it's supposed to be a lot better. So first we went ahead and primed the AI using our prompts. And again, these are my prompts that you can find in the description below today's video, which essentially tells it to write in an SEO optimized format. So then we get our, um, our information in which we need to paste into the AI. So this is going to be the H1, the H2s. And again, I took this all from New End Writer. Terms to naturally include throughout the article, including how many times they should include that. And then the entities. And I also gave it some examples of the top ranked blog posts and what they write about. And then I told it that I want you to write your own in-depth engaging SEO optimized article on the topic. Use information I provided. Write the best SEO optimized article that will outrank our competitors, aim for 2,000 words, and so on. So that's the prompt in which I use very, very simple. And this is the output in which we get back. It is pretty short. Um, I don't think it's very long by any means. And it's kind of right to the point. We do get a table there, which is really good. Um, I don't know if we were able to hit that 2,000 word mark. But I would definitely like to have some more information here. Like for me, it just seems really, really to the point and concise when I think in some instances you would actually want some more content. So what I'm going to do is expand the article to be 2,000. So I'm going to tell us just expand that article so we can get some more content. It is content. But as you can see here, we're actually getting some more expanded content here from the tool it's writing um, a lot more content here and i think it's because now it has a lot more information the idea that we're going with here is that we're going to feed as much information as we can into the ai because when you feed it information that's when you really get the power of the ai if we just essentially told it to write this full content um, we wouldn't necessarily be able to get um, the best output if we told it to just write an article about how to get rich in 2024 using AI. But once we give it some instructions and we gave it data, then it's able to give us essentially the best possible output. So I'm gonna copy this over here and then we're gonna paste it into Markdown and we're gonna see what the content looks like. And we're also gonna test this on New End Writer to see the content optimization score. So again, let's copy this over, mark that to HTML, and we're gonna paste that in there. Okay, in terms of word count, 2,000 words, not bad by any means. Let's head back over to New End Writer. I'm going to paste the content. Write 50, that's not bad. Let's go ahead and generate a title. And we're going to generate a description. Save and close. Write a 66, um, that's not bad. Of course, I would like it to be a little bit better than that. Um, but just right off the bat, and this is no manual optimizations. Let's see how it did with including those headers. It did include some of the headers. Let's actually go ahead and see if we can yes, ways to make money. If we can actually include those keywords. And that should give us a better score. So sometimes you do have to um, sort of manually add some more content in there. 
so that you can get a little bit of a higher score. But as you can see here, we're able to get up to 66. So I think we're at 67 before. Again, not very, very bad for not doing any sort of manual optimization. And it did a, a pretty decent job at including those keywords. But in my testing, AI never follows your instructions to the T when it comes to including keywords. But for the most part, I think it did a pretty good job. Let's look at our entities. In terms of word count, we can add some more words into this article. For the title, we're 100%. In terms of keyword, for terms, we're at 57%. Um, so that means we can definitely increase our main description and our H2 headings. But again, I don't think that's a very bad um, score. and I don't think it's a very bad workflow at all. And it doesn't really take that long. Let's actually go ahead and read through the content very quickly here. How to become rich with AI in 2024. AI is revolutionizing the world from smartphones to self-driving cars. AI is transforming industries and creating new opportunities. But did you know you can still use AI to make money? We had a nice table of contents there. What is AI? Top ways to make money with AI in 2024. We had about five different ways here. And it's really well formatted, right? I like the example. I like the bullet points. I don't necessarily like the lines, but we can always remove those lines. Um, it talks about AI tools in which you can use. Use AI to create content. Learn the basics of AI, so on and so forth, and the FAQ. I'm pretty happy with this workflow. If you guys would like to use my prompts, it'll be in the description below today. And also, if you'd like to catch the lifetime deal before it expires, that will also be a link in the description below to this video to get a lifetime deal for New Red Rider. Hope that you guys enjoyed this workflow. I will see you in the next one. Take care.